Hey, it's Kevin Tovel with JK on the Run, and I'm here with my Steve Jobs impersonator outfit on, as you can see. We've got the black mock turtleneck, and I have that so I can show you something on my Apple iPhone that I talked about yesterday on the blog, and that is Text on Phone, which is a web application that's featured on Apple's website for the iPhone, and it's a really interesting ebook or ebook reading experience. And I want to give you a quick look at it. I spent 10 minutes with it yesterday, and maybe I'll show you another five to 10 minutes right now, and I'll kind of take a look at it and we'll learn together. Let's take a look. I'm gonna rotate the camera as I always do, and show everybody that messy, messy desk, and my little uh, place I hold the coffee. Never have too much coffee. And let's see if I can do this and kind of make it somewhat readable. I want to point something out right up front, and that is that I am just doing this on the Edge network, and I'm doing that on purpose. I want to show you what it's like when you're out and about and assume that you don't have Wi-Fi. So I also want to show you, if you take a look next to our JK on the Run home screen shortcut, you'll notice a 7 Habits of Highly Effective People shortcut. I did that yesterday with text on phone. I thought that was a really, really wild thing to do, that they have um, a way to bookmark, obviously to the home screen, just like you can with anything in Safari, and you can actually bookmark your book right here, and if I tap it, it will take me there, open up a new window, and there it is, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, page 28 of 1364, you'll notice that it's cached up to page, well, 40, I was going to say, and 42, and 44, I can't keep up with it. It'll cache ahead another 10, 20 pages or so, and I think that's a great use of assuming that folks are going to be on edge, and it works really well, and what that does, as I zoom out, what that does is, when I tap and go to the next page, it actually is pretty instantaneous because it's preloaded some of the pages, obviously. Now, I have it set for showing two pages of text on the screen, and that means I need to scroll to get to page two in there. And again, I tap, and it goes ahead two pages. So it was 30, now it's at 32. Uh, a couple things you can do. I'm going to hit the settings here. And you can see I've got it set for two pages. So I'm going to change that back to one. And I'm going to say done. Whoops, I didn't do it right. I have a camera in my way, so bear with me. One, one and done. There we go, one and done. You've got choices of fonts. Let me show you the settings while we're here. Uh, American Typewriter, Arial, Georgia, Marker Felt. What does that look like? What does that look like? Oh, that's pretty funky. That's kind of like the, the notes on the iPhone. That's pretty interesting. Uh, I don't think I want to read in Marker Felt. kind of feel like I'm in third grade there. Um, for Donna is one of my favorites, so I've got it there. Change the font size. I actually like it at 10, but you know, for the sake of the video, boom, let's bump it up. Um, let me bring it back down to 10 and say done. You can change your text color black, gray, and white. No polka dot yet. That's okay. I'm sure it's coming soon. And uh, you've got backgrounds of anti glare, black, gray, and white. I'm just going to stick with anti-glare. So you have a couple settings here, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to say, uh, save the settings. And there it goes. It's going back. So now you'll notice, instead of saying page 32, and when I tap, it's not going to jump to 34. It'll jump to 33, because that's a full page right there. And I can just read that. I can hit the previous or next to move back and forth. I can add notes. We'll get to that in a second. I want to show you that, yes, indeed, it does support landscape. So there's page 33. I like the tap rather than the previous than the next. And you can just read and tap, read and tap. Kind of nice. All right, let's bring this back into portrait. And uh, we mentioned notes. You can add a note. Notice how quick it is. I can write a note on this page or about this page, I should say. We'll keep track of the notes. Other readers will be able to read your note on this page, which means I can't say something nasty about Dr. Stephen Covey who wrote the book, or he might see it. So I'm not going to. Uh, I'm just going to show you that it's your basic... I just put the word test in there. 
uh, basic text entry if you're used to it on the iPhone no different than anything else so I'm gonna say um, cancel I don't want to do that I don't want to, I can add the note when I'm gonna hit cancel all right talked about the settings talked about the notes let's talk about my read list now I populated this read list uh, by using one of the suggested read lists I went through and browsed it and in a second we should see some of the options there something like this where it's not caching it's going to take a little longer on edge that's obvious um, you can see here I've got the seven habits and I also have five other books in my read list I'll show you those in a second but I also have here what they or what they have here is today's reading a reader's wall featured authors you know bunches of choices here um, let's go back here recommended reading that's where I actually found the seven habits and I was extremely surprised to find it uh, there's a book du jour you know book of the day international thriller writers a moderated sci-fi list um, another list here most influential books um, books that can change your life oh yeah change my life baby let's see what would change my life something from Virgil uh, Machiavelli ah the prince Actually, it, it's nice. It shows you a little picture of the cover, like a thumbnail. There is on some books. There's the information button, and there's also an ad button. The information button doesn't appear in every book. It appears on this one. So let's see what it says. When it comes to ruling, then the ends justify the means. A CEO must read because yes, every CEO is really a prince in my eyes. Yes, I don't think so. Um, are they rulers? They shouldn't be rulers either. They're employers. Come on, cut that out. All right, so if I want to add the prints, I just press that button right there, and boom, read now, add it to my read list. I can delete it. Uh, let's go see. Let me go back and see, make sure it's on my read list. Go back again. Seven habits, six books in my read list. Let's tap that six. Did I tap it? Maybe I didn't. There we go. Now I tapped it. Yep, there we go. The prints. Journey to the Center of the Earth, Aesop's Fables, Animal Farm, etc. So, now, if you noticed, I did have the seven habits on my home screen, and the folks at Text on Phone are taking advantage of the new uh, bookmarking feature that you can put a bookmark right on your home screen on the 1.1.3 firmware of the iPhone. So, that's how they're doing that. So, if I do that, let's do that right now. Boom. Add to home screen. Boom. You'll see it adds the name, and hey, look at that. As soon as it downloads it, I get that same little uh, thumbnail of the book cover, and I can say add, and boop, there's the prints right next to Seven Habits. So there you go, one tap, and it's there. I like the fact that um, when you leave off in a book, it actually does remember where you were, which is amazing, and we can... We can prove that here by going, oh, just through a couple pages of The Prince, because I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to read The Prince. Uh, I'm sure it's a wonderful piece of literature, but um, I'm just doing a video here to demo this. All right, so we're on page seven. Let me close that window, go back to where I was, which I was looking at our JK on the Run blog. We'll let that load just for fun, and then we'll use that home screen applet for The Prince and see if it brings me back to page seven. I think that's a fair test. All right, home screen. There's the prints. We should get Safari that opens up the next window. And let's see if it picks up where it left off. Well, let's see if it picks up first. Okay, there it goes. And it's coming. That initial load can be a little slow, which makes sense. I mean, it's going to grab a bunch of information and cache, cache, cache. But still, I think once you get going over Edge, you could read a book anywhere you've got service. There we go. And son of a gun. Page 7. There it is. Very slick. Very slick. And then I can just keep going. And you'll see it's caching as we speak. 14, 15, 16, etc. So not too shabby, quite honestly. Not too shabby at all. So that's text on phone. And uh, you know what? Just take your Apple iPhone or your iPod Touch and just go to text on phone. And uh, you create an account. 
very simple to do. They just ask for an email address, a password, that kind of thing. And then you've got you know, access to all the books. Apparently there's over 20,000 books there and more being added all the time. And I've read, I haven't tried it yet, but I've read that you can actually upload your own type of text. If you've got unprotected text files, ebooks, etc., you could upload that onto their server and that way have it available to you when you're on the go. I like that idea because if you don't have, say, a lot of space on your Touch or your iPhone, maybe you bought a first generation and you don't have the latest and greatest that has double the capacity, or maybe you've got it filled up with movies and uh, music. You know, having all that stuff in the cloud makes it a lot easier and a lot more accessible. You don't have to worry about tying up your storage. So text on phone, give it a look. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be looking at this quite a bit more. Uh, until we see an Apple SDK and we see some ebook applications, you know, this might be the next best thing on the iPhone for ebook reading right now. And uh, even after that SDK, it could be good. So take a look. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care.